Howdy to your duty, everyone. Hope you're doing well. I was going to do a what I just got video uh, a couple days ago, and then a day after that, and then today. And I just keep on listing stuff and kind of forgetting as I'm going along. Uh, I think everything from the last video is listed and up. Um, there may be something that I missed or that it needs some cleaning, but for the most part, I'm already getting some offers. The Valkyrie piece got a couple offers. I figured I'd do... Uh, what's coming in and a what's sold for the month of May. We're nearing the, the end of the month, and I figured why not since I have it all queued up. Hopefully it crops everything properly. I didn't want to dox anyone. Um, so, yes. So one of the first things, great thing to wake up to at the beginning of the day. Uh, I sent, I received an offer. I had these priced high, by the way. These is, this is one of the Arnie's of Paris shirts. Uh, I had it priced at like 600 bucks because I wasn't sure and I didn't want to underprice it and I didn't mind that for those two shirts I had rolling over until I found the right buyer. The guy sent me an offer for 200. I was just curious if I could get 220. I sent him a message on the side. He accepted and I sent him the offer. Um, that's only because I got the other uh, Arnie's, the red one, like a week before. Uh, sold for 220. That was a silk one. It went to Japan. And I was just thinking if I could just get at least 220, why not? The guy's already interested. And it was my first time trying to send the guy a message on the side um, before sending an offer that could have been denied. And then I lose that chance to send him the offer. Something to consider for a high price item if you would want to lose the, the fish on the lure. Send them a message if it's okay with them. Uh, maybe you can agree on a price that way. And that way you might increase, <clears throat> increase your chances of... Uh, knocking the sale uh, i sold it for 239 after their shipping and whatnot and it cost me about 30 dollars in ebay fees because i'm a top rated seller they took off three dollars ten percent ended up paying 26 dollars on the 220 or whatever um let's see so i netted 199.03 sorry it's uh it's cut off at the top I'm still figuring out, but I don't want to dox the folk, dox the person folk. Um, so I'm really happy with that. That was a great start to the month, but I think that went towards paying the end of last month. Um, and then I sold a video game, netted, uh, let's see, these cost me, I think, $3 because I bulk purchased them off the Goodwill site years ago, and I finally started selling them, $16 for PopCap Arcade, uh, and that was only a $2 fee, netted me $13. Fossil Knob, that's how you pronounce that shirt. Faconabo, it's uh, Fossil Knob, that's how we pronounce it at the consignment store. We sold these for 29 to whatever 70% of 29 is uh, over a six month period. The tags are real cool, they showed a discount over time, so people, if they liked the shirt, didn't mind waiting, they would gamble, and uh, if the shirt was there later, they'd get a good deal. I ended up selling this one for 17. Um, and let me make sure that's the right, yeah, that's the final value fee. So I'm saying, the final value fees, just to make it easy and to keep this video going, which I already can tell is going to be two videos. Uh, sold it for 17 paid 220 in fees, and it's really nice to get that uh, top-rated and seller discount. Uh, knocks off 10% off the, uh, the final fee, which, I mean, just give me like 3% off, <laughs> please. Just do that. Make it a 10% flat fee that you're taking away from me, not this game. Um, but it was nice, 13 bucks. I don't remember what I paid for it. This could have been one of my old uh, personal shirts. It's a large, so it might have been one of my old ones. Or one of the ones I bought, um, I'd guess around $3 if I got an African Alliance or like a Father's Joe, Father Joe Salvation Army on sale. Uh, the Gracie Barra shirt. That was, I think, on a fairly recent video. That was from the trip uh, with, with uh, Mick to Salvation Army DAV. A bunch of items over two stores. They undercharged me on one store, and it came out to I think under four dollars for everything, under three dollars with with some heavier items in there. Uh, I sold out this shirt pretty quickly. I think it was on or near my birthday uh, on the fourth, and uh, yeah, sold it for thirty-two. Only paid eBay four dollars. I netted twenty-six bucks. Uh, pretty quick turnaround on that one. That's the Gracie Barra kind of like fitness uh, mat rolling. Uh, jersey. Uh, I don't want to enlarge and risk again showing the person. Um, this one again sold I think the same day was the Roots of Fight large the Muhammad Ali People's Champ shirt. Sold for 33 I think I had it at $24 and then after shipping. 
Uh, the guy asked me if it had a hole. It did not. I looked through it. Did not. Did not. Uh, it turns out it did have a hole. Right where I was holding the shirt at the collar had a tagging hole. So I'm going to pull the shirt aside and give it a nice little stitch. Um, it was nice to get $26 off a shirt that I think cost me around under $4. Uh, same trip as the other one. But uh, I had to refund him. And I refunded him the uh, shipping fully because we had engaged in discourse. And he made sure. I thought I made sure. And it was just not right keeping his money in that regard. Um, this is, I think, when I was talking about the Acapulco shirts that are embroidered. I see a few of them at the thrift store. I didn't grab any last time because I wanted to stay under 100 bucks. Uh, last time being yesterday and I saw a few, but this is the one that had just an embroidered patch of a coastline or something like that. Uh, cost me $2, maybe less. And I sold it for 24 netted 19. Uh, not a bad deal. Keep it going. How would I rate my experience with what? Oh, uh, this is a Grayson Reed. We used to donate shirts to the city digs downtown San Diego, and they had a bunch of these Grayson Reed shirts. So this was definitely one of my old inventory shirts. I had no problem selling it for low. Their buttons tend to crack or fall off pretty quick, but they're pretty well-made shirt. <laughs> pretty well-made shirts otherwise. Um, I think I sold it for 11 bucks, netted 9.36. Pretty nice for a shirt that lasted me maybe 10 years. Uh, beauty, beautiful thing about having a a knack for thrifting and or like getting things on consignment at the end of the uh their 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 sale price. I couldn't buy anything right away. I had to wait till they they were on the floor for a bit. I had a lot of clothes. And the good thing about having a lot of clothes if you have the space is you don't wear it all down as quickly because you're going through more options. Ideally, unless you're sticking to your favorites, which is something we notice on the consignment front. A lot of people would uh consign a large volume of clothing and you could tell what their favorite pieces were versus what like was maybe a little too outlandish for them to wear maybe this guy didn't feel comfortable in purple and so his purple shirt looks brand new 10 years later um so bundle of ties uh, i sold i think one tie by itself plus shipping i did a few of these so it's like around eight dollars for the tie plus five shipping or i uh, I don't know. Some, some, sometimes I think I sold for $6, but I, the guy bought four, so there was some kind of deal or bundle uh, discount. But this is from the aforementioned uh, All Hail the Bag of Ties deal. It was like 90 ties under 20 bucks. I think I got them at half off, so it was like 12 bucks, something like that. Um, Star Wars Day was around the corner, early May, and I sold this at. Was it 11 bucks? I think I got it for two. It was a triple XL, made nine dollars and netted off of it. Um, so that's not bad. Paid eBay just 160, so that nine minus the two. So a quick little triple. <clears throat> this is one of my old Star Wars shirts that I used to wear. Uh, I'm not XL anymore and I'm trying not to go back. So I sold it for 11.31. I got 9.27 out of it. So I got it from the same African Alliance thrift store years ago, so it cost me two bucks. Gave me some comfort for years, a couple years, and uh, I was able to send it off to a good home after some cleaning. These are some uh, old vans, brown vans. I am not 13 anymore, I'm 13 wide. Had to sell these before I ended up with some gnarled toes. Somehow ended up with $23 for some vans that cost me 15 uh, maybe a couple of years ago uh, as I was uh, getting back on my feet from a surgery and thrifting again. Four dollar shorts turned into nineteen ninety nine net. Pretty happy with that African Alliance score. They're just five hundred ones that were cut off and actually stitched pretty nicely. Um, they have a lot of shorts. Four dollars is a great flat rate for them. I just don't know enough. And if I unless it's like something I recognize, I'll grab the shorts. Um, for the most part, it's like a lot of surf brands and skatewear, and I just haven't delved into it. I'm delving back into sport coats and suits because Mick got me hooked on that. Uh, so this was a vintage Russell from Father Joe's. Cost me around four bucks. I think there were more, and I just bought this as a test. Uh, I had a few offers at around 15, 18 right away. I held off for just like to see how it did over a week or two. I ended up selling, I think, at full price because it came out to thirty-one sixty-eight with the five ninety-five shipping. So I think I had around twenty-four dollars, twenty-three eighty-eight. So from four to 26, uh, I'm happy with that. As you can tell, I'm in a lot better spirits because a lot of the work I've done has paid off. Uh, just keep on listing, keep on listing, keep on doing stuff. I'm also having good success listing in the manner that, uh, that, uh, that I've kind of developed 
you know, a comfort level with where I, I get a bunch of stuff all at once, hanger it, steam it all at once. Maybe it'll be 40, 50 pieces. Maybe I'll be exhausted. Maybe I'll snap a few pictures. Uh, but I'll just do kind of like an assembly, non-assembly line with myself now. Just bulk one thing. If I don't photo list that day, okay, that's fine. Next day, though, I make sure to photograph and list, try to get those both done at the same time. And then uh, if I can't list that day even a little bit, I have a huge volume of things to now list for the next couple days. Um, I was able to do that and somewhat organize things. I had at the thrift store. I forgot to print stuff with um, Mick. But uh, it helps, helps uh, with the ADD. <laughs> helps with the ADD. I can always like do a little bit of something and uh, stay focused, stay at least on a task. Um, I still catch myself, ooh, I found a stain, let me go clean it. 15 minutes into cleaning the stain, I'm like, oh God, I was in the middle of other things. But I am getting better uh, focused, and I am seeing more sales coming from it. Uh, also, I'm staying competitive, uh, which is helping. Uh, Meridian Line, those seem to sell pretty quick and soon after listing. I haven't sold too many. Uh, I haven't found too many, I should say, but all the ones I found have sold. I have none in inventory right now. Um, 15 bucks seems like a sweet spot for them. I think this one sold for around like 13, uh, ish, but I netted 15. Oh, maybe it did sell. Yeah. 17 something. Only 229 fee. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I made 15 bucks. This was a $2 shirt. African Alliance. Speed up, buddy. Speed up. Make sure you hit the record button. Uh, this is one of the Volkswagens I got from Deseret. I think it was a $3 shirt. Ended up netting me 1821. Pretty happy with that. Just had a vintage uh, Golf GTI MK, uh, you know, car on it. A cool, a cool kind of like vibrant art on a like light blue shirt. I liked it. Um, this is from I think the last of three Nike Pro Combat shirts I found on sale around two dollars, maybe less, maybe around t-shirt price at discount. So they were fifty percent off. I spent two. If uh, they were full price discount, which I'm guessing they were because I took a risk on them and I probably wouldn't, they were a dollar. Um, so that netted me 16 bucks. So not bad for the pro combat. I think those tended to wear around the collar to where the very, very top of the collar would split and it looked like you had two collars, but it was really just the, the polyester just being so fine that it would rip. And then the whole collar, you could just pull it and it would evenly rip and still look kind of good. Uh, Johnny O sold pretty quick. I don't remember what I spent for this. I think this was maybe $5, but I was willing to give it a shot because they were selling for $25 ish. Ended up getting $22. Um, this was at that, that day from the video where the uh, Salvation Army gave me so many shirts at enough of a discount that I was willing to experiment and try some new things. That one did well. This one I anguished <laughs> on it in that there was a yellowing on the collar. I washed this multiple times, I soaked this multiple times, I treated this multiple times, and in the end, I just photographed it, showed it as is, and I haven't heard back from the seller. Um, I don't remember getting this. Um, small Levi's, it might have been from the bins, just because it was denim, it might have been just a quick buy, something that was in my hand, and I forgot to take it out, but I'm glad I kept it. It might have been like $4, that number just popped into my head, but I don't remember exactly. Sold it for 19 or netted 19 on it. So really happy. I'm just happy overall. This is one of the generic tie-dyes that I saw for a dollar. I didn't make it. I didn't make it with a friend or or from an old t-shirt. Just found it for a buck. Put it out there for 13 No, maybe, uh, no. I think it was like nine ninety eight or nine eight eighty eight because it was fifteen ninety here. So maybe the guy got a little bit of a discount. Maybe it was $8. But uh, I netted $13.83. Wait, really? They only took two dollars in fees. I'm telling you, charging five ninety five for shipping's been really awesome because that's been eating into a lot of the fee for the the t shirts. Uh, I'm not the best with math. I'm not sure where my brain's going, but fifteen ninety item price. Oh, it says right there. Oh, good to know. Yeah, sold at nine ninety five. That's cool. That's cool. I, I must be misreading the net. Well, okay, no, it's just not, I'm not, it obviously doesn't factor for what I paid for the piece. So 1383 minus the $2, there we go. 
1183. That's cool. Made a few more cents more than the listing price. Thanks, Matt and Yumbo, for recommending that. Very kind of you guys. Keep the shipping price at a good steady rate. Shipped a suit for fourteen ninety five on accident instead of nine ninety five. Hopefully the guy loves it. Uh, it's a, that forty two short that I think was in the last video. Uh, men's Canali. I had it at around fifty bucks. The guy sent me an offer for thirty five. Uh, I'm getting a $35 net off that. Um, that's with them taking 541 and then a 54 cent discount. Thank you very much. So they're taking 517. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to do the price in the net. I don't need to jumble your brain with words. Uh, Vintage Kent. They get a lot of these uh, at the African Alliance. They're three dollars regular price. Shoot, what time is it? I'm getting the I'm getting the itch to go. Um, but no, I got work to do. Um, this one, I believe I cleaned it. They have a few Botany Vintage Sears. There's a bunch there. They're just, I haven't wanted to risk them because I usually have such a big pile of non-needed-to-be-cleaned items that I've been slowly taking one or two pieces that have been sitting there that I'm just going to risk. I remember cleaning the collar on this one, and thankfully, because it's a polyester blend, cotton poly blend, uh, these shirts, um, it's actually pretty easy uh, to get the, the, the staining out. Um, you definitely want to work on body oil stains as quick as possible on organic. Um, but again, OxyClean does its job. OxyClean or just let it sit and, and dawn and bubbles and, and check it out in a little bit and disturb it and make sure it's, you know, getting the stuff out. But I digest. Sold a shirt for twenty twenty eight, netted uh, 16 bucks, so cost me $13, or made, made $13, cost me 3 Salt Valley. I sold the Salt Valley, netted 20 out of uh, 25, but the customer actually returned it. It was kind of a bummer. I had the sizing and everything on the description. Didn't uh, fit still. I know this ran a little tight, which is, even though it was XL, I think I can't fit in them currently. Um, but it's right on the shoulders. So it's just like a slim fit, that particular. Sold... Uh, I don't know, this is like a 2000s era shirt. Um, it was in the bins, just kind of in there in my inventory for way too long. Sold it for like five bucks plus shipping or something like that. I made 9.38. My fees were only $2 on it. Yeah, I sold it for five bucks. I have no idea how my net proceeds are so high. They're doing the inverse of what I thought I'd be getting. That's like incredible to me. I guess that doesn't take away from the shipping. Is that, is that, there we go. That makes sense. All right. There we go. My brain is making sense of it all. It's not factoring the shipping. I haven't even eaten breakfast. That's my excuse. So take away like $4 or whatever shipping for some of these pieces. Now I got to go back and make sure that this makes sense to me. I'm like losing money. Um... Yeah, okay. I shouldn't change too much except for everything that I just said. Let's see. All right, keep on going. Keep on keeping on. So I do think I'm spending around 450 for shipping. $5. Depending on where it goes. So take that off everything. Not that it really matters. You guys are probably ahead of me in doing that. Matt, like yelling at the screen. Dude, you forgot shipping. You forgot shipping. Yeah, let's see fees. Boom. Was this one? Oh, I'm trying to take off advertisements. Or maybe just because it was a high value. This one I was really happy with. This was an outer known $3. She kept on putting things out on the rack as I was, and I just continued to take them. I was like, oh, great condition, great condition, great condition. Finally listed this one. It listed and sold within a week of putting it out there. It was seventy four sixty eight. I had it at like 79 The guy sent me an offer. I think we met in the middle or somewhere, but it was fine. I was just happy to sell it. Um, again, so now that I've learned my lesson, <laughs> this is my first time looking at this menu uh, to be honest, I usually just am happy to get some money that's covering the bills. Um, so sold for 74. Uh, I netted 60 55. 
minus let's just say five dollars shipping so 55 bucks uh off it they took 860 in fees so that's 12 percent off the 74 right that i sold it for and i got a whole 92 cents uh back but uh heck i am happy thanks for giving me a platform mr ebay mr and mrs ebay this is a Brioni that, oh, I'm glad actually to look at this. I was worried. I had it at 120 and it had, I think, offers, or excuse me, promotions. And I'm trying to slowly take those off. I just think it's so saturated. People naturally like, will look away uh, off the promotional stuff now because there's just so much of the same things. Um, I know I do. I've been still having steady sales. I don't even have a sale going on right now. I've been pushing back, putting one on because I've been pretty steady. Um, thing is... This Brioni at 120, I think, was priced too high. It was in great condition. It looked good, near flawless collar, but at 120 on eBay, I don't think anyone's gonna sell it. I just kind of neglected it. Someone sent me an offer for 60. We ended up agreeing on 64, plus the shipping came out to 74 something. I netted 61 bucks minus the five dollars, 56 bucks for a Brioni that's been sitting in a box in a bag for way too long. Reminder, in San Diego, my daily rent broken down is around 35 bucks. I sold that shirt that's been taking up space, doesn't fit me, covered a day's worth of rent. Thanks, shirt. Probably cost me $3 back in the day. Might have been from the consignment store, one of the things I found at a Goodwill that didn't sell, and then when I moved away and closed out, got my stuff back. Billabong sold for twenty one ninety five, netted nineteen twenty one. Probably a $2 cost shirt, minus 5 for shipping. So now that I know how to do math, it's like around 12 bucks. Again, still good. Uh, Arbor, fifteen sixty five was my net. Uh, so $10. This was a $3, I think, $3. I'm trying to think if it was Father Joe's purchase. They're like $6.99. And it could have been 75% off. So it might have been like 2 bucks, Or 180 something I forgot what it breaks down to. But even at $3, it's not the best. But if it's in a mass volume or in a volume of things that are selling, I'll take it. Rent's getting covered. Solar Wrangler netted 35 minus 5 for shipping-ish. Um, I had it at 34 something like that. No sale the price. The person bought it. It was a 70 snap button. Um, I have a few of those listed. I lowered their price. They're not selling really as good as I thought I, th they should. But there's some good pieces. So, yeah. Real happy with that one. God, I'm laughing so hard in my head. Like, should I just start the video over? But no, you guys are here. I learned how to do math. We, we learned together if you, if you didn't. Um, for some reason, I'm just so used to eBay's fees, <laughs> factoring everything in. My brain's like, dude, there's there's a there's a number missing. It's yelling at me. Um, this Volcom I've had forever from the bins, fifty dollars, sun faded vintage Volcom, small. Uh, I don't think it was a youth's uh, shirt. It was just like a small cut. So uh, eleven twelve was my net, under five dollars to ship it. So six dollars from fifty cents, not a bad deal. This is from the trip with Mick at the beginning of last month, April, uh, or mid-April, I believe. Um, I think I got this one almost by accident. This is a Rain Spooner, uh, three-button, uh, three-quarter button shirt. I, I had it in my pile of stuff, and I kind of just grabbed it, looked it over, and I didn't think of the price. I should have uh, not grabbed it. You know, in my head, I was thinking not to grab it, but the other Rain Spooner sold almost immediately. Uh, so, you know what? I'm happy this sold, even for something. Um, cost me like eight, maybe there was a little bit of discount, but I think it was like eight or nine bucks, uh, plus five shipping uh, off of 21. <laughs> yeah, see, it was like, I at least made my money back and paid it for uh, uh, a smoothie, half a smoothie in San Diego. <laughs> But it's nice. So it's got, it got swept up in the current. Still was able to do something with it. This is one of my old Fossil Knob shirts. Loved it to death. Loved it so much. I had a couple holes in it. Very small. Uh, like the back of a... Uh, I don't know. The back of something that's pretty small. Um, like an eighth of your fingernail. If you bite your fingernails. Um, and I think I listed it for 10 bucks. Sold nine 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 eighty eight 
excuse me, uh, shipped it for uh, five uh, off my thirteen fifty nine net. So nine bucks, eight bucks, not bad, not bad for a fossil knob. A Reebok that cost me around two bucks sold it for twenty two eighty eight. So uh, after the twenty five dollar net, I shipped it for four fifty. So twenty bucks off two. Nice ten percent little increase. Uh, Quacker Factory. These are the QVC shirts. I found three of them. Two dollars, two dollars, four dollars. So they came out to like three thirty three or something like that. Uh, for the three of them, one I got the stains out, and I'm updating the listing as soon as I get the photos updated. This one sold for twenty bucks plus four fifty for uh, the shipping, so sixteen bucks off a three dollar shirt. And in less than less than a week of listing, I don't know when exactly I grabbed them. But I don't think I listed them right away because of the backlog. But Quacker Factory it seems like it was getting over a hundred percent sell through at the time I looked it up, which means uh, more were selling than were currently being listed. And Mick taught me how to finally see that those numbers on the app. Because I was like, how do you see the, the, it's not as detailed. So you just hit the sold, take off the sold, and then you just do like a fraction uh, comparison of what's listed versus what's sold at the bottom. And it'll tell you, or give you an idea, you know, if you can do the number real quick. If you have trouble with the fraction, just move all the decimals over until you have three uh, <laughs> digits. And then just try to figure out. Uh, like maybe a broad general estimation. Uh, Fina More Napoli, this was again under $2. Father Joe's discounted. Um, they had a little bit of wear, but they were so light. They were like almost airy cotton shirts. I think cuff wear, mild cuff wear, but such nice, nice shirts. They sell for uh, high premium wherever you can get them. Um, and I was able to thankfully sell this one for thirty six eighty eight thirty. dollars Dollar net plus shipping, uh, so I got like twenty-five dollars for it, twenty-six dollars for it. Um, Finamor Napoli men's. It was a seventeen thirty-two. Uh, the J Crew from the video before already sold. Um, I had it at around eighty or ninety. We met at sixty-five. I had not realized I had it at fifteen dollars shipping, so that's why I netted seventy dollars off a thirteen dollar twelve ninety-nine goodwill purchase. Uh, happy with that. Shipped it in a nine dollar, I think cost so it's seven sixty seven ninety, a uh, legal flat rate envelope. So sixty three bucks off that. There you go. Sal's learning to subtract. Gosh, I am so embarrassed, but I'm not gonna, not gonna delete it. I daren't. Uh, first of three Guy Fieri, uh, Y two K style anchor, anchor blue shirts. I still have the back off, and I still have the one that has skulls. No, that one has skulls. Man, I think they're a very skull-forward company in the early 2000s. Um, but that was one of the mixed suggestions uh, on uh, sale price. I think collared short sleeves are around $3 at Salvation Army. This is from the day where they hooked it up real nicely um, and didn't count some pieces So in the total. So I got 25 net plus shipping $20 off a $3 shirt, 17 bucks net. So it paid for the other ones there. At the very least, some of these shirts, I'm like in my head. I sh I, obviously, I'm rambling. It's almost 30 minutes. Um, they've paid for their trips uh, from where I acquired them and then some. Everything is at least, that trip's covered. Like the Outer Known shirt that sold and netted me 63 and then shipping or whatever. Um, I think that was a $54 trip with the three uh, shipping bags or garment bags. So... Uh, not bad that that at least covers the cost there, and then everything else is now just uh, green from then on. It just shows that, you know, you may be picking some random pieces here and there, but your tastes are getting tuned, and you're moving things into happy homes. This sold within days of listing and uh, acquisition. Uh, vintage Gant Rugger uh, shirt. It's in the air right now. I don't think it's even arrived. Uh, netted me twenty two seventy seven off of, th it has to be three dollars. I don't think they gave me a sale price at the African Alliance. Um, so took off that eight dollars and have I been subtracting the <laughs> item cost? Oh, oh people. 
Oh my god, have I been subtracting the item cost from them with the shipping? It doesn't matter. I'm tired. 30 minutes, you're tired. Um, so let's say like 8 bucks. Uh, 7 bucks. So 15, 14 dollar net. Not a bad deal. I grabbed a few pieces that day. And then the Padres. Uh, priced it low. 22-ish. Sold almost uh, right away a few days. Um, it was like a nine dollar thing at discount like 10 percent off right uh so let's say eight bucks for that piece and then five dollars for shipping kind of doubled it i made like 13 12 after the 25 52 net um i knew that'd be a quick flip but again that's like so against my ethos of trying to get things in at least five times over or something like that but i knew it would sell that's where i had to figure things out um, I think I'm just going to post this right as is. Thank you for uh, staying with me and hanging out. I'm going to post another video probably later today or tomorrow of this stuff right here that is coming up. I got a bunch of stuff, some sport coats, some shirts, some goods and bads, I'm sure. But yeah, I had a good month of May. I'm still having a good month of May. And I hope you are as well. Just keep on listing stuff. Keep your prices competitive. If your things are uh, rolling over and about to expire, give them a look. Even if you're not doing the relist uh, trick some people do that I've done to some degree uh, sometimes, um, just make sure your pricing's accurate, your measurements are there, the listing has detail if you're there. Might as well add a couple extra little details or rearrange some things. And um, yeah, I'm having some old stuff sell that's getting either relisted or adjusted. Um, maybe you price something a little high thinking you'd move and then forgot about it, sell talking to myself um jesus christ a 32 minute video uh thank you be well and uh how how happy are you that i figured out how to do the the math and subtract uh my shipping and costs from the ebay net how awesome is that look at that we all learned something today uh, be well keep on keeping on